So the next next thing is is object oriented. Uh, sometimes it makes sense to look at objects. So uh, when Martel Hoover was was working in the the GAC, uh, office in Amsterdam, she found out that at a certain moment a document, uh, the documents for people asking for for living support when they were unemployed, documents travel from desk to desk to desk. And at the certain moment she found out that one document was put in a pigeonhole of somebody she knew would be on holiday for the next two weeks. So, so something can go wrong if you follow the documents, right? But actually Machtel did several things. One thing she did was she took the document and put it in another pigeonhole of somebody she knew would take up the next task. Which is an intervention, an intervention by the ethnographer which she carefully recorded, but at the same time she felt her responsibility not to just say this goes wrong, but she repaired in a way what went wrong, right? So as an ethnographer you have to do something sometimes and record it. You are not neutral. You are part of the situation and you are in fact also defining the situation to a certain extent. You, you cannot avoid that. But, but on the other hand, the, it, it's at least very important to sometimes follow documents. One of the, the strong examples is the, the, the Denver Airport in Colorado, the U.S. It was redesigned in the 80s, I think, right? I wrote it somewhere, not <coughs> but whatever. But let me say the 80s. The Denver Airport was, was redesigned. There was a completely new airport, much bigger, much more modern, much more technology. And, and it took two, when the, the airport was kind of physically finished, it took two weeks, no, two years before the airport could actually be used. Because, because the luggage got lost, the luggage got damaged, the, the luggage moved all over the place and nobody knew what was going on. Actually, transporting luggage in an airport is much more complicated than moving people. Because people at a certain moment can walk and you can tell them, go to number cell and the people will walk. But luggage has to be moved and, and transported. And the Denver Airport is, is really a disaster example of design where the objects were not taken care of. The objects got lost, got, got damaged, got deleted completely and so on, right? So, so sometimes it made, and I actually I was talking to Richard Jordan about it, and she literally told us that actually they were putting cameras on the luggage to find out what was going on. Because nobody could tell. It disappeared, and then after three weeks it <coughs> appeared somewhere else completely dead. So this is an object-oriented record. A setting-oriented record means a location in the space. So, so for instance, if, if Philips Medical Systems was designed for a hospital, sometimes they put a camera for a full week in a certain thing like a nurse station. And, and they informed everybody concerned. And, and they were recording what was going on during shifts in the nurse station. Who was co going there, who was doing things, who was putting objects, who was asking questions, and so on. So, so sometimes it makes sense to focus on a certain location. And the last one, sometimes you need to focus on the process. At the uh, administration office in Amsterdam, in fact, what was needed was to focus the complete process from somebody entering the office saying, I lost my job, I need money, until a week later the person get a message you get this amount of money, and after two weeks you have to show us this document, right? So, and the whole process in between, which was a walking between like seven different desks, was all part of the process. Now, you can understand that it doesn't make sense, and it's really <coughs> impossible to perform four different orient orientations, so in most cases you have to identify in the first phase of ethnography which of the four could be the most interesting, and then you choose one of them. But, but never do at random things, but try to identify what would be the most useful for me to understand where the problems are and to understand where redesign could really make an improvement. Okay? Generalization means that, that you, at a certain moment, need to really be complete. So if there's an event, try to to analyze, to observe and analyze the event from the start till the complete end. So, so from if you would like to find out what's going on in, in, in a lecture here in, in, this, uh, in, in this course, well, 
start with preparation and, 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 and find out what all happens during preparing, teaching, and find, finishing, and whatever the course, right? So you should follow the whole thing. And, and the same is for temporal patterns. Um, if things happen over time, uh, don't just look at a single day. Um, look at several days. Also look maybe at night shifts. Um, consider seasons. Uh, consider things that are in fact moving because of technology. Um, but but d just don't, don't take a random day because days could be part of, 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 of a process that, that fluctuates. Um, well, you know, many people in, in this country get their salary once a month and, and get some extra salary during the holidays and another part maybe at the end of the year. So, so if you are looking at the, 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 the way people spend their money, it might be wise to consider this kind of time changes as well, right? Um, and, and, and look at interaction structure, especially make sure that interaction is not just talk, it's not just words. It, it's behavior, it's body language, it's, it's the way people send messages or, or Skype or, or use social media. Um, look at conversations that get interrupted, right? Because there's, there's uh, people are sometimes very clever to, to perform a task and then they get interrupted and they perform another task that's completely unrelated and then they can resume their original task. And, and also sometimes um, People perform tasks that, that, that are in a way just acting, right? So, so just to, to, to show the outside world that they are busy doing a job. So if, if you enter an office, it wouldn't be good if, if all the people in the office are just waiting for somebody to enter, right? So in many, many cases, people pretend they are very busy, but because you enter, they will now make time for you to, to answer your questions immediately, which, which is much more nice. That, if we are sitting and, and, and yawning and saying, ah, finally there's a crime, right? This, so. Look at organizations, the meaning of positions, um, find out of, of, well, whether people have fixed locations or whether locations mean something, right? If, if we have a square and, and uh, 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 ch uh, chairs here, and, and if there would be one, one side that, that's empty, and if I get sit here, I'm kind of taking the, the, the seat of the president and I, I could easily run the meeting, right? Unless a couple of other guys cleverly come here and take it from me. But as long as nobody takes another seat at this side. So this is how people behave so in some culture, right? So, so try to identify this. Um, try to identify what happens with artifacts. So, so who is owing the artifact who is doing things. Um, and an and artifact could have symbolic means. You, you are all aware of the, the stethoscope in hospital or the white coat, and, and it's even abused sometimes in order to create a, 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 the, the image of having a certain status, right? Just by having a white coat. And um, so, and, 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 and look also what happens to the non-physical so, so, some people have jokes and they don't like it if somebody else is making their jokes, right? Because the, their jokes are kind of public, they like it to be public, but they won't like anybody else to copy them. So, so there's some kind of ownership involved in these kind of things. Yeah. Um, now there's a video that I will show a little bit of. And uh, later on, the video will be on the website. And this is a video of an examination in 1994, which is long ago, in Amsterdam. And uh, actually, the video was taken as part of a big task analysis to design a new automatized inf uh, examination system. You will find in the video that the examination is a, a lot of people in a big room, and, and they have questions on, uh, uh, on a sheet. And then they have another sheet where they have with pencil to mark certain things. And then only pencil would work because this will be an optical scanner, very old-fashioned machine. Uh, and, and there are rules uh, and, and there are well, interesting stuff going on. So there's, there's roles, so there's a professor. It's very clear who's the professor. There are supervisors, which are actually students, but uh, maybe uh, students that are a couple of years older. 
and then they are the victims of the examination. And there's lots of forms and boxes to put the forms in and writing equipment methods because some things you have to do with pencil. And, and there's calculating equipment because this is math and as apparently it's allowed to use certain calculating machines, very old fashioned machines. And, and there's the situation, there's a time structure you can find out that the, the, the video, it's nicely done actually by my students. So the, 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 they, they start videotaping when the first people enter the office. And, and then you see some, some things that, that happen in between. And then something interesting happens sometimes. So I, I would like you to find out what's interesting. And so maybe develop some hypothesis about what's going on. My main question would be, is this a case of fraud or not? And I don't know. I've asked it many times, and, and I get different answers. So, um, yeah, so watch the video and identify and analyze unexpected events. So the, the video was made for ethnography, and we are going to, and I will show a little bit of it, and, um, but not the whole stuff, but it might be interesting to, uh, 